Hey everyone and welcome back to Wolfie's Luck. I hope you are enjoying the road to glory. We're going to jump straight into it with a club tour and two um, wants to watch challenges. So we first of all complete that Thiago Silva wants to watch player. And is he going to make it into the squad? Not at the moment. That pace for me is just a little bit too slow. But I thought... Why is he so cheap to do as an 82 rated and he comes out as an 85 wants to watch? You cannot complain of that. I mean, his defending and his physical stats are pretty good, but that pace just lets him so down, you know. Even with a shadow on him, that takes him up to 68 pace. I just do not like, no, 71. I do not like that pace, personally. When you'll be coming up in champs against the likes of Mbappes, Messis, Ronaldos, Neymars. His pace will just be no good, regardless of who that other centre-back is. I just don't like it. Um, not one bit, really. And that was the newest SBC that we completed. We're going to be doing a club tour as well. We complete the Werner is blue. There are cheaper ways to do this. Um, I didn't run through that because it literally is a cheap version of doing a two-player upgrade pack. So you get two rare golds out of this pack. Um, when I say we're going to do a club tour, I mean I'm actually going to show you my current squad that we are going into the weekend league with. This is the first weekend of Foot Champs. I have sold a bunch of players. I've sold my main squad as well, hence why my transfer list is so far up there. And I've also just completed Jota, one to watch, Premier League player. I don't think he'll get many um, Team of the Weeks, but... It's a free team of the week card to uh, wants to watch card to do. So go and get him, guys. It does take a little bit of a grind. And if you don't have a Premier League team, it can be a little bit tricky to complete those rival challenges as well. We will also be opening up those packs as well, guys. So you're getting a player here for 80 rated. Packs as well. Okay, it's untradeable, but it's a free player. You know, if he gets one team of the week, he might go up to an 82, 83. That saves you buying coins later, buying an 83 player down the line, you know. If you decide to throw him into a wants to watch player down the line when the EA dropped the SBC, why not? It's a free player, guys. Free players do the grind for it. I can't emphasize that enough. If you drop down a division or two, but you get a player at the end of it, I recommend it. I don't like people, though, that just drop on purpose to complete an objective. Try and do it in your current... Um, division as well so we also progress a little bit on the season here but for some reason it says claim reward but i can't claim the reward i'm just short um a little bit of a glitch there not a big deal because it's just a tifo right transfer list so if you watched the previous episode you would have seen i packed a lot of players there i packed aki twice uh but i sold my whole team as well here so you've got the likes of benzema going there modric going you know carlos own Her herrera you know these are all the players that I got from that pack opening that I sold. And I also have already built my team and have 114,000 coins left. That is a lot of coins to be have started this game and only have people played this game for three days now and the full EA access is out. And this is going to be my squad for Foot Champ Weekend. Now, in goal, we have gone with a full Premier League team here. And we are going with Are Aro Ariola in goal there. If I get my pronunciations wrong, I am really sorry there. And then we are going with Nelson Semedo as my right back, which I packed quite a few weeks ago at my first squad battle rewards as well. And then we are going with Rudiger as my other centre-back. And he is so solid, it's unbelievable. We're not using Thiago Silva. We're using that once to watch Aki. Don't forget, we packed two of those players. And we are not going, funnily enough, with a left back here. I'm going to play Cal Calasso. Calaho off Kem on seven there. Just because I think it is good to be doing that. And I think he is better there for me as well. Now is my CDM Rodera as well. Is going to be my midfield there. Really solid. Pace is a little lacking. If I get the coins, I do want to invest in Kante. And then we are playing Deli Ali to the left of him as well, which we packed. And then the boy Wanyaldum. My best pull so far there. And then on the right, Bernardo Silva. Not the best shooting, but his dribbling, I can tell you now, is phenomenal. And on the left, you can guess it. Jota 
the ones to watch that we had just completed for you guys as well. And at my striker, Richardson. Fantastic pace there. I mean, my wing players there, I think, are really good. I dropped to 4-1-2, narrow there as well. So I play Jota and Richarlson up front. Bernardo Silva as my cam. Rodgra goes as my TDM. And Wijnaldum and Deli Ali as my two CMs. Really good and solid club. Right, now we have six packs here to get through, guys, before wrapping up this video. These are all the packs from completing Jota as well. Not the greatest start. And I can tell you now, do we hack a walkout? I'm not going to tell you actually that. But... Everything here is untradeable, so I just get rid of it, the manager contracts, because I manage a league change, because I just don't want them in my club, you know, personally, that's just me. You can keep them in your club, but they're not doing any harm to you, but for me, I just don't like them. I just discard them or get the quick coins for it. Really simple, but that's just my preference. You guys might like to keep it. Center back from Man City, Ruben, 81 rated. Not going to make it in my squad. I am so happy with my two CD center backs. Right now, and I am making a slight push as well, guys, to try and get into Division 2. It is really tough, some of the games at the moment, and I can't emphasize enough. I just want to grind rivals at the moment and not focus so much on my squad battles. Even though it is free coins and free packs, but that I want to get better for foot champs. So I want to be able to get gold one rewards. I even want to try and push to getting elite this year. I know that's a long, hard road, seeing as I was finishing silver and gold three. But if you don't set yourself a target, you're not going to get it, are you? So my target this year is to get gold one rewards for you guys and at least elite. I will then one week actually try and push for top 200 in squad battles. Because last night I was grinding my squad battles on legendary and I was hitting around 2,500, 2,700. And on average hit top 200 you need 2400 points i could make that push but this is an average person's account i'd have average time on this game i can't do both rival squad battles and champs i have to dedicate my time to one thing what content i can bring you and i think one week it will just have to be grinding that squad battles and hoping for it but i don't want to hit 30 games and then lose two games on the bounce and fall short but if I do, I do. It's the only way I will get better at this game. But guys, that is it. I hope you have enjoyed your uh, video here and the club tour. And I hope you have a fantastic week and do well in foot champs. I'll see you soon. You take care out there. Bye.